Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment for my brain and today it's been a while for we are playing some more out of the park baseball 22. So today we have a three game series against the San Diego Padres. Um, So San Diego is doing pretty good. Their lineup is not super impressive in my uh, universe, but they're doing pretty good right now. They are 13 and 8, and they are only one game behind first place in the West. Uh, it's a little bit tougher for us. <laughs> we are 9 and 12, although uh, we did uh, win against San Francisco here. So we are four games behind. The Mets are still first, but they are being chased by the Braves right now. So we still have some injuries um, that we have to deal with, and that kind of sucks. And the first pitcher we're going to face in that series is not going to be easy to beat, and it is Andy Bennis. He should be pretty good. Yeah, he is a four-star pitcher, probably fully earned. Uh, he was pretty good in real life, and he's pretty much in his prime or entering his prime at 26. So I expect a pretty tough game here. Oh, um, before I forget, so I thought that the game came with all of the 3D models uh, for stadiums and everything, and apparently I was wrong. Now, you know, I'm not, I don't quite remember, you know, all of the stadiums from the 90s and everything and exactly what they look like, so of course my... A usual partner in crime, JT Dutch, uh, kind of pointed out that Dodger Stadium didn't look right. So uh, I went ahead and downloaded the uh, the park uh, add-on uh, made by Silvam14, I believe. Uh, I tried to install it. It said that it installed 20 stadiums. So I'm guessing that it's because it only installed what I need for this particular game. So. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and see if uh, if it looks any different. If we can recognize Olympic Stadium better. All right. So let's get going. All right. So to face Andy Bennis, I think I'm gonna want to go with my best lineup, which is what's uh, over there. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. It looks like the Padres are gonna go with Steve Sachs. Uh, he's gonna be the first batter. Tony Fernandez is going to be playing injured, batting second. Guillermo Velasquez is going to be the third batter. Alex Rodriguez, yes, A-Rod, is going to be batting fourth. Tony Gwynn is going to be fifth. Thomas Howard, sixth. Jerry Willard, the catcher, is going to be seventh. And Tito Navarro, the left fielder, is going to be eighth. And we are sending Oil Can Boyd on the mound for that. Um, we need a rebound game from him. He's been pretty bad so far this season, but he had a really good season last year. So I'm hoping uh, for a bounce back game here. All right, so yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, that might look a little bit more like it. Sorry about that, I'm drinking some delicious juice. Now that's done with. Hey, no problem, man. That's okay. I was uh, watching you, I was pulling for the expos there and everything. Uh, hey, you're new at doing this and that happens. I, I've made more mistakes that I'm willing to admit when I first started doing that too, so. No big deal. Uh, where is it again? That's the thing is I've... Okay, yeah. Um, okay, which one did I have? Not exactly what I want here. Uh... Definitely not what I want here. Sorry, I kind of forgot what I had. Now that I... Yeah, that's what I had, okay. 
so that's what I like. Then action. Yeah, let's keep it like that for now. So, yeah, oh wow, that, yeah, that looks very different. Uh, that does look like an Olympic Stadium, too. So I think I've got, I did uh, did this right. Oh man, I, I you shouldn't have made that uh, squeeze play in the ninth. You had one out. You go and you swing for power to try to get that sack fly. I, you needed that run there. You needed that runner. That was a, a wasted out. Just saying, you have to play the probabilities. <laughs> I know that the squeeze play is the uh, is the. Uh, a spectacular play but that probably wasn't the right one at that point all right so steve Sachs is going to be batting first for the padres here oh uh, one and oh on steve's steve Sachs. so the angle is slightly different uh, probably because of the of, of the stadium we're in all right grounds it to short and it's an out oh yeah that looks like an Olympic stadium all right I recognize that corner right there uh, by uh, right field all right so Tony Fernandez is not a batter full count on Tony Fernandez oh I know you got tempted and we all do uh, that's a single for Tony Fernandez I don't know what it is I have a lot of problems retiring Tony Fernandez in this game and I checked his batting averages per year I mean he's okay but he's not that great so it's just a thing that he has against us I guess all right Guillermo Velasquez is now the matter as a runner on first here one out one and two. Oh, pop pop out come on oh yeah recent just go oh, my mouse cursor I always forget my mouse cursor Yeah, that's that's true, and uh, I have problems with Tony Fernandez in that game, and who else? There, there's another guy on another team that I just cannot. Uh, I think he plays for the Pirates. I cannot remember. I might remember when I see him, but there's another guy that I just cannot retire. All right, Arod is at bat. Two outs, runner on first, two and two on Arod. He's hitting 421, but I strike him. Well, not I. Oh, well, Ken Boy strikes him out. And the top of the first is over for the Padres. They got a hit, but that's it. All right, so Andy Ben is the pitcher. Again, it's going to be tough. Uh, the line of the Shields is going to be the batter. 3 and 1 on the Shields. Oh, and he walks. Good, good start. All right, Marquis, his second year, run around first, which is as speed, one and two. Oh, not hit very hard, come on, oh. Yeah, infield hit. All right, so run around first and second, nobody out. Calderon is at bat. He's, I mean, he's having a pretty good start to this season here. Two and two to Calderon. Ugh. He didn't even swing the bat. Mark Withen is now at bat with one out. One and one. Oh, that's a hit. All right. then there's going to be one that scores on that. All right, and we should have runners on first and third with two out. Uh, one out, sorry. Oh, he didn't go to third. So we have runners on first and second with one out. Charles Johnson is not a batter. Full count. Come on, get a get a walk. Ugh. That's a double play, not exactly a walk. Not what I called for. Yep, brutal. All right, Tony Gwynn is gonna be the batter now. One and two to Tony Gwynn. Oh, that's an error on Ray Sanchez. He doesn't make many of them. But he did now. So nobody out, one out. Uh, nobody out, one on. Thomas Howard is the batter. Two and two to him. 
Oh, that was a bad pitch. He swung at it, though. So another strikeout for Oil Can Boyd. Now we have Jerry Willard to the plate. Two and two. Oh, double play. Take that. We get the double play back. Awesome. Oh, yeah. So I was... Uh, I was watching you play and I was like, man, he has so many subs and everything. And uh, in in Out of the Park Baseball 18, it shows the date that you're on, or at least you had a widget that had the date on. And I was like, oh, it's in September. That's why he has so many players. Uh, on the default overlay here for the widgets, I don't have the date anywhere. So I'm like, oh, what? Full count to Barbary. And he walks. Oh, Bennis doesn't necessarily have his best stuff so far. And Bill Duran comes up next. Nobody out. Run on first. No count. Uh, that's not it very well. It gives me some different angles. I kind of like it, although that one looked a little weird. Oh, yeah. So who's first in your division? Wait, it's the 80s. Like the Phillies, maybe? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so Ray Sanchez is not a batter. There's a run on first one out. A win one to Ray Sanchez. Oh, no, not another double play. No, okay, Fielder's Choice. Okay. Or it's a ground out, rather. Alright, so grounds out to first. Run around second, two outs. Oh boy, Oye can boy is not a batter, but he did hit a home run this season. Yeah, he strikes out now. Man, that that's what makes playing a lot more fun. Like when I was a kid, I remember. Uh, I, you're a little bit uh, younger than me, but uh, there was like that game on the Nintendo uh, called. Uh, Tecmo Super Bowl and whenever he was losing like a football game he like he would reset so that he would have a perfect season and I never understood that I'm like why do you want a perfect season it's not first of all you know there's no challenge and you know I like w the situation you're in right now is why I love playing sports sims I like when it's uh I like when it's tight. I like when there's a challenge. I like when, you know, it's down to the wire. Like, if you're assured to winning with three months left in the season, it's not that fun. So, to be honest with you, when I was doing my uh, Ottawa Senators run with Franchise Hockey Manager 6, it came to a point that it was very boring. It got very boring. I had like all the best players and I won the cup like eight years in a row or something. And it, you know, there's a season I lost like nine games or something. So it was not all that fun. Yeah, there's people that are like that. And then my friend made fun of me. He was like, what? It's fun to lose. And then he was like, ha, 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 ha. And then his older brother came in and he was like, no, he's right. It's a lot more fun when there's a challenge. And that's how I feel anyway. All right. So Oya Can Boyd so far is pitching pretty good. And now we have Delano the Shields at bat. One and one on the Shields. Weak grounder to first and he's out. Yeah, I went out. <laughs> so in Tecmo Super Bowl, Joe Montana was like super good and everything. And games were scripted like like each week there were like a certain amount of outcomes for the for the game and everything and what we would do sometimes is we would reset like every time that Joe Montana had a good game we would reset until he had a crap game because we didn't want for him to win everything like he would like every season so that's what we would we would do so we would do the opposite of cheating to have always the best record we would cheat so that the best players don't finish first. Uh, being young again sometimes. All right, Calderon two outs, two and two to Calderon here. Oh, that's a single to center. He 
Yep. Yes, they did. All right, two outs for hard inning Mar Mark Within. One and one. Oh, that's a hit. All right. Well, runners on first and third now with two outs, so we still need a hit, but we're we can add to our lead here. Oh, I I did stuff too. I had Tecmo Super Bowl on the Super Nintendo, and there was a there was a kind of a cheat on defense. You could take the oh god, I'm not a I'm not very good with football. Uh, you could take the on D the center, I guess the guy that's in front of the guy that's you know picking in the ball out. <laughs> I'm not a football guy at all and you could take him and if it was a play where like the defense was waiting just a second you could like press real quick to slide through him and sack the the quarterback like I finished with like 73 sacks one season with that guy or something <laughs> uh, two and one but you know that was after that I played the game so many times and everything I had done all of the challenges so you know when you're a kid you have a lot of time to waste or at least you know back in the 90s that's how it was so I you know I would just uh, sit there and try to find ways to break games or exploit games or you know whatever all right so we could not uh, take advantage of those two runners so we're still only up one nothing and it's Andy Bennis on the mound for San Diego so we might not have many more opportunities to score runs here oh it's Tony Fernandez again I cannot retire that guy I don't know what it is been going on for four seasons now I cannot get that guy out oh one and one oh Goodbye, baseball. And just like that, we're down. Hey, FJ, I see your name there. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing okay. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if you're so busy with stuff, but... Uh it's been very quiet. Oh, hey, Rod, with the, the hit to left. Oh, I think FG is gone already. Oh, maybe not. All right, that's not a good inning here. Now, Tony Gwynn's coming in. There's nobody out. Run around first. Oh, God. And A Rod's going by. I think he's out. Yes, he is. I wish you could see a little bit better on those plays sometimes. Sometimes the angle is not great. Two and two. Oh, oh, not that's something you don't see very often. Tony Gwynn striking out, swinging. Wow. Thomas Howard, one and one. That's a single to center. Yeah. Oiken Boyd was pitching great all the way up until now. Jerry Willard, one and two. Okay, that should end the inning to Grissom. Yep. There you go. Oh, I want to see who's on the... <laughs> yeah, the, that was... Uh, I think 18 is the first year that they had, like, a uh, live play like that. So it was pretty rudimentary. But uh, now I saw that uh, there's like the picture of a player on the the board in the, uh, center field. So now I want to hit a ball there so I can see who it is. I build Doran two and two to Doran. That's a single. Oh God, is that Brad Wilkerson? I think it. I think it's Brad Wilkerson's face there. I wouldn't bet my house on it. Well, I. I mean, I can. Uh, I rent. It's not mine. But uh, one and one to Ray Sanchez. But I do think it's Brad. Will yes, I think it is. I, th I think I saw the name. Wow. Cool. 
All right, so two runners on, one out. Oh, I can't boy, is that bad? He's gonna bunt. Yeah, next time that there's a ball hit in the outfield, it, you have to check real quick to see, uh, like, the board with the face at center field. It, like, it doesn't stay there very long. Two and two to the shields. Oh, come on, run, little guy. Oh. All right, we're still down two to one, so we're putting runners on. We are just not opportunistic enough to uh, win this game uh, or to score runs, so that we're ahead is what I should say. All right, Cito Navarro is now the batter, one and one. All right, grounder to first, and he's out. All right, 72 pitches for oh yeah, Ken Boyd wearing the 50. Yeah, you're so good for a little bit. And DiBenis is now the batter, one and one. And that's a hit. Yeah, see that we saw the guy there at center field. We saw it on that hit. Uh, Steve Sachs with the pitcher on first. Oh, and two. Oh, strikeout. That's good. All right, there's two outs now, but it's Tony Fernandez. All right, so where are you gonna hit this time? Two and two. Oh, we got him out. We got Tony Fernandez out. So it's like a mini victory for the game. All right, Marquise Grissom is first here, three and one. All right, he walks. All right, we have some great wheels on the base paths now. Nobody out. Ivan Calderon is now the batter. One and one. Ugh. Line straight at the third baseman. Mark Witten. Oh, Grissom's going in. No throw. Awesome. 15 stolen bases for Grissom this season. Now, Witten, come on, man. One and one. Not deep enough. Charles Johnson is next. Two and two. That kills me. Whenever there's runner on runners on bases, especially in running in scoring position, and you get struck out with your bat on your shoulders, that that doesn't make me very happy. At least swing for it. Oh, all right. So Guillermo Velasquez scored a hit a home run earlier, so that's why we are losing two to one. I'm gonna keep uh, Oil Can Boyd on a short leash here. 2 0. We'll see what happens, but he's entering the uh, the heart of the order. So. A Rod is not a batter. 1 0 to A Rod. Oh. It is Brad Wilkerson. We saw it clearly. Well, not clearly. The image is really kind of choppy, but. It's Brad Wilkerson, I, I recognize him. All right. All right, so a double for A-Rod. Yeah, let's see if you can get Tony Gwynn out. Oh, no count, that's not good. Oh, we walked him, okay. See if we can get a double play. Thomas Howard, one and oh. Oh, infield single. Yikes. Yeah, I think I've seen enough of uh, our friend Oil Can. I think I'm going to bring a lift here and try to get a double play ball. All right, we were, let's bring Michael Kerrigan. Right. Oh, and two. Oh, a strikeout works too. I mean, I'm not gonna be too picky. Eh, is that deep enough? Nah. Okay, good. 
Alright, so it's the 90s, so we're not too worried about having the right end in this pitcher. So I'm gonna keep Michael Kerrigan in. Let's see if we can, if we can get Cito Navarro out. Ah, he's a switch hitter anyway. And he's worse against lefties, so let's go. One and two. <laughs> Alright, so we get out of that jam, that's good. But we're still training to the one. All right, Andy Benes is still the pitcher for the Padres. We're going to send Red Barbary here, one and two. Oh yeah, that's a hit to center, good job. Bill Doran is now the batter, run around first, nobody out. Full count, oh, Doran strikes out. All right, Ray Sanchez is now the batter, oh and two. That was a bad pitch. All right. I'm gonna bring Ruben Rivera here. All right, we need a hit from the rookie, two and two. Yeah. All right. So yet again, we put a runner on bases, but we cannot score. Who am I going to bring in? I need like two innings or something. Uh, let's go with Doris. I want to give him innings so that he can, you know, get his stuff back and then I can put him back as being a setup guy. He was really good last year, but God, has he struggled this year. All right. Starts with Andy Benes, one and two. Two Benes here in the top of the seventh. Padres are up two to one. Oh ho ho, starts with a strikeout. That's pretty good. We definitely will take that. Steve Sachs is next. Two and two to Steve Sachs. Another strikeout. That's the John Doris I had last year. Need more of that. Oh, Tony Fernandez. It's going to be a hit, probably. Two and two. No! Wow, John Doris strikes out the side. That's good. And you're going for another inning. Not only because you did good, but because I kind of need it. All right, still Andy Bennis on the mound. I wish they would change him. Uh, the line of the shields is the batter. No count on the shields. If he can get on base, that would be great. Thank you very much. Single to center. All right. So we have some wheels. Bottom of the seventh, Marquis Grissom is the batter. Full count to Marquis. Oh, he struck out. Not exactly what we wanted here. Oh, they changed the pitcher. Don Paul is now the pitcher. Okay. He has not allowed an earned run in six and two thirds. All right, let's change that. Two and two to Calderon. Oh, and it's it down the line. Now the shield's gonna get to third. Calderon gets to second. Ooh. That doesn't look great. That big black thing. Alright, so a double game is tied. That's awesome. And the inning is not over. We have a runner on a second, which is Calderon. He has good speed. Not blazing, but good speed. We have one out and we have power at bat. So a double would do wonders here. One and one to Withen. Oh boy. Hey, that's an infield hit. I will take it. And I didn't try to sound corny with a stupid rhyme. All right, so runners on first and third went out. Some pup at bat with Charles Johnson. 1 and 0. Oh. oh. So Within steals the steal second. Runners on second and third went out. 1 and 1. Ugh. So I ground out to short. The runners don't advance. There's two outs now. And Britt Barbary is not a batter. One and two. Oh, that's it. There you go. You have some earned runs to your record, Don Paul. And we are up four to two. Awesome. So 
Barbary uh, ear comes through. And now we have two elves running around. First build, Doran is not a batter. Three and one to Doran. And he walks. Awesome. All right. Two runners on, two outs. Ray Sanchez, two and one to Sanchez. And oh. I think he's out. No, he's he's safe. Wow. Okay. Well, I need to uh, let's bring Mark Davis. I moved my microphone, and now it's like in the way of me seeing at the bottom where I'm making the the substitutions. I'm gonna need to move it back. should be better all right come on man one and one base is juiced and he's a liner to short oh well all right so we got a couple runs so now we top of the eight we're gonna bring okay who are we facing velasquez rodriguez okay we're gonna bring fesero in Yeah, I have no reason to keep Mark Davis in, in there. All right, so it's going to be maybe tougher against A-Rod, but uh, I'm hoping that's going to work in my favor. All right, so Velasquez, as far as he did, hit a home run in the fourth inning. Two and two to Velasquez here in the top of the eight. All right, grounder to first. He's out. Good job. A-Rod is next, so that might be tough here. 0 and one Rounds it to short, and he's out. Perfect. All right. Now, of course, Tony Gwynn is never an easy out. 1-0. and oh. Now come on, the shields. Oh, yeah. They go 1, 2, 3, and we have a black screen. Thankfully, it's uh, easily resolved. Okay, Delino the Shields is now the batter here at, in the bottom of the eight. I would I would love to add to the lead. Full count to the Shields. It's pretty softly to center, and he's out. Grissom comes up next. One and one to Grissom. And that's a single to center. Good job. All right, so Scott Sanders is now the pitcher for the Padres. Calderon is the batter. 0-2 to Calderon. Grissom's going. Oh, he's out. All right, so we have two outs now. 1-2 and two to Calderon. Oh, that's an error. All right, so we have a runner on first. Two outs. Hard hidden mark with him at bat. No count. Oh. Cool. Calderon is safe. That's his fourth steal of the season. One and two. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. And it is. All right. So Calderon scores. And because of the the way that the stadium is made from the from the patch that I got. We can't see. Uh, Witten stayed at first. Okay. Uh, two outs run around first. Charles Johnson, the batter. Full count. Oh, struck out. <coughs> All right. So it's a save situation. So we're going to go ahead and bring the, the closer for that one. Closer is Scott Ruskin. Another lefty. Right, Scott Ruskin was really good last year. I think he finished first in the MLB for saves. He had like 43 or something. Alright, so 2 0 to Thomas Howard here in the top of the ninth. We're trying to preserve a three run lead. Grounds it to second. The Shields with the 
the true and he's out Joe Biasucci the batter full count and he strikes out now Tito Navarro is the last out for the Padres full count that's it softly and the shields gets it and that's a win for the expos awesome all right so we start the three game series with a w here i didn't have to do too much manage uh, managing but uh we come out with uh we come out with the win mark Witten did get four hits in that game that's pretty good two rbis two rbis for barbary he put us up front in the seventh that was pretty nice So Doris, yeah, Doris was uh, had started the season really poorly. You can see that even with you know striking out the side, he still has shit stats. So yeah, he kind of needed that if even uh, just for him to feel better about himself. I also need to be able to uh, to trust him. Oh, former Montreal Expo Greg Swindle who was with us for Alpha season. Uh, well, he shot out uh, Colorado 2 to nothing. All right, good for him. Good for the Cubs as well, I guess. All right, we're going to go ahead and advance today. All right, not much going on, so all the same guys injured. Um, all right. So Ricky Bonus is going to be the the pitcher for the Padres in the next game right, so he shouldn't be striking out too many people with that stuff rating but he's not too bad we're gonna send Carlos Perez who's been kind of hit or miss this season he had a, I think he had like one good start one very average start and two bad ones so kind of need to do better last year he was pretty good he, rookie season he had 15 wins so that's pretty decent but yeah all right well let's face the Padres again all right I think I'm gonna keep the same lineup pretty happy with how we played yesterday so I'm just gonna go with uh, all of the same guys Padres are going with Steve Sachs Tony Fernandez Tony uh, Gwynn Kevin Seitzer at third base, Guillermo Velasquez, Thomas Howard, Oscar Azokar, and Eric Pappas. So a lot of uh, different faces. I guess they were not happy with their play. Even A-Rod is getting benched right now. All right, let's get going. Play ball! <laughs> All right, Steve Sachs, Carlos Perez. Two and two. Now, one thing with Carlos Perez is that he throws a lot of pitches. <laughs> so we're going to be going deep in counts often with him on the mound. Like, we're going to see a lot of two and two and three and twos. Oh! Uh, that's going to be an infield hit. So Ray, Sa Ray Sanchez gave it his all on it, but we just couldn't get the out. All right, Tony, Fer oh, Tony Fernandez. I wish you would give him a day off or something. <laughs> All right, uh, runner on first, nobody out. Tony Fernandez is the batter. No count. Oh, pass ball. Or wild pitch. Yeah, it's a wild pitch. All right. All right, 1-0. And, oh. and Tony Fernandez with his usual hit against the Expos. It's, you know, it's like it's scheduled on the calendar, almost like taxes. So runner on first and third, nobody else. So not a good start to the game here. And Tony Gwynn is the batter. 1-1. One, one. And that's a hit. All right. And Fernandez makes it to third. Oh, not a good start. All right, so runners on first and third, nobody out. Kevin Seitzer is now the batter. Full count. And that's a hit to left. And it's 2 nothing Padres. They already have four hits. Four up, four hits. Not good. All right. 
Guillermo Velasquez is not a batter. No count on Velasquez. And that's another hit. Oh boy. Please stop sucking. I don't want to bring Rick Mahler in. Alright, Thomas Howard is the batter. 1 and 0. Oh, I think we might have a an out here. Mark Witten with the catch. One out. Alright. So Oscar Azokar is not a batter. We are one double play away from having a bad inning, bad inning, but not a traumatic one. One and two. Ha! Called it. I don't know that I called it. Maybe it was wishful thinking, but it worked. All right, so it's never pretty to allow three runs in the first inning, but all things considered, it could have been a lot worse. So let's see if he settles down after that. All right, the Shields is going to be the first batter here for us. Right, we need for you to get some hits. Your average is a little low. One and one to the Shields. Oh, that's a grounder to short, and he's out. One out. Grissom is not a batter. Full count to Grissom. Oh, is it deep enough? It is. All right. So we get a run back with Grissom. Steve Sachs just looked really angry at second. Like, mm -hmm. All right, Calderon is now the next batter. One out, two and two. That's a grounder to third. Sizer with the true, and he's out. Two outs now for Mark Witten. We're down 3 1. Two and two to hard hitting Mark Witten. And he strikes out. Okay. All right, let's see if Carlos Perez can settle down. Oh, and one to Eric Pappas. All right, grounds it to third. Barbary with the true, and he's out. Rick Bone is, is not a... I did, I came back. Came back in 1-5-2. Brett Barbary pulled through with a... With a a single or a double, I don't remember. It was uh, it was a two RBI hit. I don't remember if it was a single or a double, but pulled through in the eighth, actually. No, in the seventh, and then I added one more run in the eighth. There you go. All right, so another r uh, runner on, one out, Steve Sachs, the batter. So I gave up a hit to the pitcher yet again. That also happens out. Steve Sachs with another hit, wow. I might have to pull Carlos Perez really early in this one. I don't want to do that because I know who my long relief pitcher is and he's a lot worse than Carlos Perez. All right, here is Tony Expo Killer Fernandez at bat. Two runners on, one out. Two and two to Fernandez. Oh, he struck out. There is a bug in the game. Tony Fernandez did not get a hit against the Expos. What's going on? All right, Tony Gwynn, full count to Tony Gwynn. Oh, come on, man. All right. We limit the damage, but Carlos Perez is letting runners run. <laughs> runners get on base pretty freely. And Charles Johnson is the next batter. One and two to Charles Johnson. Grounder to short and he's out Brett Barbary full count to Brett Barbary one out nobody on and that's a hit all right Brett Barbary is picking it up he started the season pretty slow then he got suspended for like four games I think but uh, he's picking it up lately what is he hitting for now 298 that's pretty decent all right Bill Doran runner on first one out full count to Doran come on man Oh, that's a hit. All right. It's a single. Ray Sanchez is not a batter. 
One out, two runners on, 0 and 1. Runners are going. Oh, yeah. Now they're probably going to walk him. They don't. Ugh. <laughs> Grounder to third. Runners are stuck where they are. And now there's two outs. Carlos Perez is a decent hitting pitcher. Oh, and it's a hit. <laughs> That's good for two runs. So he, Carlos Perez just tied the game. Awesome. So Carlos Perez with the single. We're now tied at three. Two outs. And the line with the shields is now the batter. One and one. Oh, that's a bad pitch. All right. Two and one to the shields. And he grounds it out to second. All right. At least we managed to tie the game, so that's a good news. All right. So, Kevin Seitzer is the first batter here in the third round. Wow. One and two. And he strikes out. Good start. Good start. Um, okay. Now, Velasquez is up next. One and one to Velasquez. Oh, that's a single. Wow. Carlos Perez is really giving up a lot of hits. Thomas Howard is now the batter. 0 and 1. And he's out. Oscar Azokar is now next. Two outs. Runner on first. 2 and 2. Weak grounder to first, and he's out. All right, perfect. We didn't allow more runs. All right, so Marquise Grissom is going to be the next batter here in the bottom of the third. One and one to Grissom. Oh, that's that's not well it at all. And he's out. Calderon is now next. One and one to Calderon. Weak grounder. And he's out. Mark Witten is next two outs. One and two to Mark Witten. Oh, that's an error. All right, we get to second base. All right, so runner on second, two outs. Charles Johnson is next, three and out, oh, and he walks. We have two runners on with two outs. We can do some damage here with a timely hit by Brett Barbary. No count. Oh, grounder to second. And he's out. All right. Let's see if uh, Paris can throw an inning without allowing a run. Pappas is the batter. 1 0. That's a run I meant to hit. And no, we didn't, because Papa's single to, cent uh, to center. Rick Bonus is next. All right, runner on first. Runner doesn't have a lot of speed, and he missed the bunt, and he's gonna try again. Oh, you had time to throw to second, buddy. All right, sacrifice is successful. Runner on second, one out. Steve Sachs is the batter, no count on Sachs. Rounder too short, and he's out. Two outs for Tony Fernandez. One and two. And I cannot retire that guy for the life of me. Oh, infield single. All right, runners on first and third. Two outs. Oh, Tony Gwynn at bat. One and oh to Tony Gwynn. And that's a hit. The Padres are back up front. Four to three. That came inside there, the batter. Runners on first and second, two outs, three and oh. And he walks. Oh my. All right, 
bases juiced. Um, Velasquez is the batter. Two and two. And he strikes out. All right. Oh, the dilemma. I really should be pulling Carlos Sparrows, but Rick Mahler is my long relief pitcher. And we're only down one run, so I'm going to continue with Perez until he has allowed 11 hits. Because Mahler is a lot worse. Alright, so Bill Doran, 1 and 2. Good, that's that's a hit. Alright, maybe we can end up in fr up front. Ray Sanchez is the next batter. Run around first, 1 and 0. Oh. oh, that's well hit by Ray Sanchez. That's his power swing of the year. All the way to the wall. That's a triple. If he's safe, which I think he is. Alright, so game is tied again. Now we're tied at four with a runner on third, nobody out, and Carlos Perez, who produced two runs already, is the better two and two. Oh, he struck out. And I guess he can't he can't get a product productive hit every single at bat, I suppose. Alright, the shields is next. Full count on the shields. Oh, when he walks. Good job. Runners on first and third went out. And Grissom is the batter. No count to Grissom. Oh. Ah, the shields is out. No, that's not good. One and two. And Grissom strikes out. Oh. Not great. Not great. All right, let's see if, come on, you need to shake out of that sucking spell you're under. Thomas Howard, the first batter, no count. That's a fly ball to right, and Witham catches that one out. Oscar Azokar is not a batter, 0-2. Strike out, that's good, all right. Two up, two down. Eric Pappas is not a batter, 0-1. That's a hit. Ah. Ricky Bonus is the batter. Full count. Oh, he walks the pitcher. Oh. One and oh to Steve Sachs. And I think he's going to be out. Oh, oh, that's nice. Google Earth. <laughs> All right, Calderon is going to be the next batter. All right, so one and one. That's a grounder to third. One out. Mark Withen is the next batter. Two and two. Oh, that's a good it. Withan is on first. There's one out. Charles Johnson is the batter. Johnson has been pretty quiet in that series so far. Two and two. Ugh, fielder, fielder's choice. All right. Two outs, Barbary. Two and one to Barbary. Oh, that's a hit. Sadly, Charles Johnson is not the fastest guy. So he's not scoring on the out. Oh. Another interesting view here. Not sure what that is. We are seeing seeing really interesting stuff during this game. Alright, so runners on second and third, two outs. Bill Doran is now the batter. Come on, we need a hit, buddy. Two and two. Oh my, those. Inning ending plays where you strike out looking with runners on base. That, that that stuff kills me. It kills me in the inside. Alright. 
let's see if Carlos Perez can get us one more inning. I know he hasn't been very good, but I need uh, yeah, I need innings here. One and two to Tony Fernandez. And he's out. Oh, Tony Fernandez having a uh, uh, an off day against the Expos, hitting only 500 against them today. Tony Gwynn is not a batter. Three and one. And he walks. Kevin Seitzer is now the batter. One and one. Now the thing with Carlos Perez too is that he has a lot of stamina, so I'm not as worried to keep him in for a while. I mean, I know he hasn't been very good, but right, Vasquez, no count, runner on first. There you go. And so Ray Sanchez is coming up. 0-1 to Sanchez. It. And he's out. All right, I I think that was it for Carlos Perez. I think six innings. The way he's been pitching is uh, the most I was gonna get out of him. I'm gonna bring Ruben v Rivera yet again. Come on, buddy. One and zero. The rookie. Oh, that's an infield hit. All right. So Rivera. With the with the infield it, Jose Melendez is now going to be the batter, uh, the pitcher, sorry, and we are going to be sending Dino the shields with one out runner on first. Oh and one to the shields. It's oh. All right. So fielder's choice. The shields at least is fast enough to not get into the double play. Uh, now we have two outs though. So come on, Grissom. No count to Grissom. The Shields is going. Alright. Stolen base. Number 9 this season. 0 oh, 1 to Grissom. That's it right at Fernandez at short. And we cannot score this inning either. Alright. Who do I bring in now? I think I'm bringing Kerrigan again. I know he pitched yesterday. He only pitched to, what, two batters, I think? Well, you're going to take one for the team. All right, so Thomas Howard is your first assignment. You're 0-2 against them. That's good. There you go. Struck him out looking. Good job. Ah, they're using a pinch hitter. Of course, when you have A-Rod sitting on the bench, even though he's a rookie, you know, that's always nice to have that to bring as a pinch hitter. All right. Uh, one and two to A-Rod. That's it to center. Uh, Grissom should have that. And he does. All right. Perfect. Right. Eric Pappas is now the batter. Full count to Pappas. And he strikes out. All right. Good job by Kerrigan. He gets the Padres down, one, two, three. And we're going with the heart of the order here. Still Ozzy Melendez on the mound. Uh, Calderon is our first batter, 0-2 oh, to Ivan. Oh, that's a hit. All right. Nothing spectacular, just a single, but we'll take it. All right. Now Mark Witten is going to be the batter. Runner on first, nobody out. One and two. Oh, that's not it deep enough. Well, that's not the game that I watched for sure because you're uh, in, nine, what, 1982? Something like that. So what year are you in? Charles Johnson is not a batter. Come on, man. Two and one. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Charles Johnson with the long ball. We are up 6-4. All 
Oh, Devon White, yeah, that, that makes uh, a little bit more sense. Rondell White, uh, of course, played for the Expos. I like Rondell. In my game, uh, my GM traded him to the, the, the Florida Marlins. So, that happened. Yeah, because in, ca in case you're watching this and you don't know, I play as a manager only. Uh, the computer handles all the trades and everything. Which is why I don't have Larry Walker anymore. Awesome, we're up 6-4, so we, we're coming through in the seventh inning again. That's in the seventh that we came through in the previous game as well. So Barbary is the batter with one out. Full count to Barbary. Ooh, struck out looking. When it, when there's nobody on base, I'm not as angry at it. Uh, but when there's people on base and, you know, you struck out looking, that that's not good. All right, full count to uh, Billy Darn, and that's a weak grounder to second, and he's out. All right, so I should be bringing somebody. So, okay, who are we facing? Steve Sex, Sony Fernandez. All right, I'm gonna go with Eat Ains, who is the setup guy. That's stepping in for John Doris since John Doris has had a too large portion of the suck pie. Alright, so full count to Biasucci. And he strikes out. Alright, so that's twice in two games that Biasucci comes in as a pinch hitter and he strikes out. Steve Sachs is now the next batter. 1-1 one, one to Steve Sachs. Oh, that's a hit. Even Grissom with his wheels couldn't get to it. All right, so runner on first, one out. Tony Fernandez is the next batter. 0-1-1 to Tony Fernandez. Oh, yeah, that's the Tony Fernandez that I know right there with a hit. 3-4-5 for, for him in that game. A runner scores. It is now 6-5 here in the top of the eight. Oh, my. Okay, strangely enough, Tony Gwynn is better against lefties than he is against righties. Not by much, but he is a little bit better. So, I, so because of that, I'm going to keep Eat Ains in. Otherwise, I would be bringing Jeff Fesero. So there's a runner on second, one out. Tony Gwynn is the batter. 0-2 oh, to Tony Gwynn. Oh, Grissom with the diving catch. Oh, yeah. I loved me some Marky back in the day. All right, and now Dan Masteller is the pinch hitter. I'm gonna bring Fesero for that. It is 1994, so I don't need to pitch to three uh, hitters or a full inning or whatever the rule is this year. So I'm just bringing in Jeff Fesero because I can. Lefty on lefty. All right, three, oh, three and one to Mastar, Masteller. Grounds it to short, and he's out. All right, so we allow a run, but we're still up 6-5 here, going in the bottom of the eight, getting some runs here would be pretty nice. Two and one to Ray Sanchez. That's a hit to center, perfect. Oh, it's Scott Sanders, the pitcher, and I guess I forgot to mention it. Oops. I moved Mark Davis too far down. I moved him all the way to my desktop. <laughs> oh, all right. So run around first, nobody out. Mark Davis, two and one. Oh, he tries to bunt and he misses. So two and two now, and he strikes out. Not good. Right, runner on first. One out. The Shields is not a batter. Oh, Sanchez is going. And he's safe. Come on, the Shields. They're going to walk him. 
try to enact the double play here, but that's gonna be with players with uh, with uh, wheels. The shields is pretty fast, and Marquis Grissom, of course, is ridiculously fast. One and two to Grissom. Oh. All right, well, now we have runners on second and third on that pass. A wild pitch, sorry. I can never tell the difference. All right, two and two. Oh, Grissom with the weak grounder to short, and we cannot score a run. So now we need a hit from Calderon. Full count. Oh, and he comes through with a hit. All right, perfect. So Calderon with the hit. Two run score, we're up eight to five here in the bottom of the eight. Now Mark Within is the batter. Oh yeah, Calderon is out easy. That was a pitch out. Alright. But we score enough that we have a three run lead now. Yeah, let's have uh, Mark Davis get some action in the field. I don't have a problem with that. Put Scott Ruskin here. There you go. Mark Davis is pretty decent defensively, so I don't have a problem with him uh, playing defense here in the ninth inning. All right, Guillermo Velasquez is now the batter. Of course, I'm bringing my uh, closer, Scott Ruskin, for a second game in a row. Easy fly to center, and Grissom delivers and catches the ball. One out. Thomas Howard is next. One and two to Thomas Howard. Oh, that's a hit. Mark Davis chases it to the wall. All right, that's a double for Thomas Howard. All right. Tito Navarro is now the batter. Two and two. All right, throw it to first. There you go. Runner on third. That's fine. We have a three-run lead. Runner on third, two outs. Eric Pappas is not a batter. Full count to Pappas. Oh, and he walks. All right, so the pitcher slot should be next. Oh, no. They, okay, I see what they did. All right, so Joe Biasucci. They did a double switch. I didn't see it earlier. So Joe Biasucci is not a batter. Two outs. Runners on first and third one and oh to be that's a hit I can't see what's going on all right um Runners on second and third, two outs. Steve Sachs is the batter. Yes. All right. All right. So we got him out, but I didn't want it to go to Tony Fernandez. We, we've had enough of Tony Fernandez already. All right. So we won eight to six. So another pretty nice victory for us here. Now, Carlos Perez didn't pitch all that well. But he kept us in the game despite that, so we managed to win. Kerrigan gets the win. Ruskin gets his fourth save of the year. All right, so Boston Punchless and Jim Abbott shout out a two hitter. Oh, a two hitter. That's pretty good. Against Boston. Boston is really bad. I don't know if they're still really bad, but they were the worst team last year in the MLB for for me. Oh, all right, let's take a look at that. So there's a month that has um, passed. All right, so, okay, Scott Spiezo, oh God. Not a whole much, uh, not a whole lot to be cheering for in there. All right, so Ken Griffey Jr. was the best batter of the month. 
see it for 385. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Larry Walker, er, playing for the Cubs now, was the player of the the batter of the month in the uh, National League. The pitcher of the month in the. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, Jack McDowell. I know that he's the man. I was so upset when he got traded. <laughs> right, so Jack McDowell, pitcher of the month, and John Smoltz, pitcher of the, of the month for the Braves, and then rookie of the month, Raul Mondesi for the Tigers, and Eddie Rios for the Phillies. All right, so the standings are as follows. All right, so oh, Boston is not the worst. They're they're not very good, but they're not the worst team. I think it's the tight. No, the Marlins. Oof, it's tough in Miami. Oh, the Pirates are also not all that great this season. So we're four games behind. We're climbing back up pretty quickly. But yeah. Oh, poor Ken Griffey Jr. He's uh, like that superstar that plays for the bottom feeder team the mariners are struggling oh they they did the past three years in my universe they uh they got really good <laughs> in my universe they like that's their lineup quilvio veras okay greg jeffries rafael palmero jeremy burn it's our johnson oh they have Oh, they moved Benito Santiago to hit eight now. Okay, yeah, they have a pretty good lineup. Definitely did better than uh, in my sim than they did in real life. But yeah, like Rafael Palmero and you know Santiago is probably the best defensive catcher of that era for sure. So, or at least he should be like right up there. Yeah, he was hitting six. I believe last year so I guess they decided to change things but last year they had uh, Alfonso uh, hurt for most of the year so that might be why I don't know I mean I'm not the the AI at this point all right we're gonna play the last game of the three game series here against the Padres and we are sending Jim Day for that game. Anthony Mortensen is going to be the pitcher for the Padres for that one. So Mortensen has been pitching pretty decently so far. Jim Day, not so much. It's going to be actually his first start. I got tired of being shelled with Rick Muller on the on a mound. So let's go ahead and get this going. And you know what? Yet again, I am not going to miss with uh, with my winning lineup. I am going. We pulled through again. We st we struggled and we pulled through again. So I am rewarding those guys by letting them play another game together. So the Padres are going to send Steve Sachs, Tony Fernandez, Tony Gwynn, Alex Rodriguez, Guillermo Velasquez, Thomas Howard, Oscar Azucar, and Jerry Willard. Let's get that started now. Jim Day won't be great for us, but I pitching is really my my weak point this season. All right, Steve Sachs is first. One and two to Steve Sachs. I forgot to say play ball. And that's an infield single to start the game for Steve Sachs. All right, so Tony Fernandez is going to be the next batter. Steve Sachs at first. Nobody out. 0-1 to Fernandez. Oh, dang. Fernandez hit in a double play. I will take it for sure. Tony Gwynn is next. 2-1 and one to Tony Gwynn with two outs. Grounds it to third, and he's out. All right, Marquise Grissom is the next batter, or first batter, I should say, here in the bottom of the first. 1-0. and oh. And it's it weekly. 
and right at the center fielder Howard, and he's out denying with the shields it's second three and one and that's a hit i think yes yes it is the camera kind of changed right when <laughs> the ball was about to land so i didn't see where it landed all right so runner on first one out Calderon is the batter oh and he gets plunked all right so runner on first and second one out and charles johnson with the fl the big blast last night full count to him and the bases are loaded with one out mark within is the batter come on hard hidden one and oh uh, that's a hit awesome two run score and we are up to nothing already here in the first inning runners on first and second Brett Barbary is the batter Two and O. Oh, I think that's a home run. Nice. Five nothing. All right. I'll, I'll take a lead like that. Five nothing here in the first inning. Now, Bill Doran is going to be the next batter. Full count to Doran. And he walks. Ooh. Martinson had a good start to the season, but uh, not today. Ray Sanchez comes up next. 1 0. Oh. That's a hit. I guess uh, Mortensen had a bad game in his system or something. Alright, so Jim Day is next. There's one out. Runners on first and third. So that brings up Marquise Grissom. 0 oh, and 1 to Grissom. It's it to right. Oh, there's a cat in here with me. I did not realize that. What's up, Cinder? You were in the window all that time, huh? Now you're probably going to want to get out. All right. All right, so we have A-Rod is now the batter for the San Diego Padres after we had a five-run inning. No count to A-Rod. Guillermo Velasquez is next. One and two. Oh, I think that's a, yep, that's an error. So we have a runner on first, one out. Thomas Howard is now the batter. That's a single. All right, so runners on first and second, one out. Oscar Azakar is now the batter. 0-1 to Azakar. Fielder's uh, no, yes, from the Fielder's Choice, runners on first and third, two outs, Jerry Willard is not a batter, 0-2 to Willard, and he hits it, that should be an out, and I'm going to need to get up for a quick second to let Cinder out of the room, and I shall be right back.
right, sorry about that. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, we're trouncing the Padres already. Well, five nothing is not really trouncing, but five nothing after one inning is kind of trouncing, I guess. All right, the Shields is the first batter, one and one to the Shields. It's it to right, and yep, that's an out. Ivan Calderon is now the next batter. Two and two to Calderon. Oh, grounder to third, and he's out. Charles Johnson is now the next batter. One and two to Charles Johnson. Oh, is that another long ball? I think it is. Oh, yeah. So Charles Johnson with another home run. So that's two in two games. He was rookie of the year last last year in the National League. Now Mark Witten is the batter, one and zero. Oh. Grounds it to second, and he's out. All right, so we add to our lead, and we are now up six nothing against the Padres. So if we, if we can hold on to that lead, and I don't want to jinx myself, but if we can hold on to it, uh, we're going to finally be playing for 500. All right, so Mortensen grounds out to first, and he's out. Steve Sachs is next, 2-2 two two to Steve Sachs. Grounds it to third. Oh, and that's an infield single. Tony Fernandez is next. Three and two to Tony Fernandez, and he walks. Oh, that's not good. Jim Day got hurt. Oh boy, now we are not assured of winning because I'm gonna bring Rick Muller in. He's my he's my long uh, relief guy. Oh boy! Oh, Witten with the with the dive, and he catches the ball. Two outs, <clears throat> and just like that, Tony Gwynn is out. Alex Rodriguez is now the batter. Two outs, two runners on. Full count. And he strikes out. <laughs> I never thought that that was going to happen with Rick Muller on the mound. All right, Britt Barbary opens up the bottom of the third for us. Three and one to Barbary. And he walks. Now, Bill Doran is the batter they ch finally changed their pitcher so it is Pedro Martinez not Pedro Martinez Pedro Martinez I I know I've said that before when we played the Padres in San Diego it's a different Pedro Martinez that one is left-handed full count to Doran nobody out run around first oh that's it weekly but it's an infield it Alright, so runners on first and second, nobody out. Ray Sanchez is not a batter. Two and two. Oh, and he strikes out. Alright, Rick Mahler is going to be eating some innings for me. So he bunts. And the sacrifice is successful. So we have runners on second and third now. With two out, Marquise Grissom is not a batter. One and one. Oh, and he's out. All right, so we do not add to our lead, but we are still up 6 nothing, heading into the top of the fourth. Whew. All right, so Mahler, I need some innings from you. So Guillermo Velasquez is going to be the first batter. 1-0 and to Velasquez, and that's it. Come on, the shields, and he gets it. One out. Thomas Howard is next no count and that's a hit to center for Thomas Howard and one runner on one uh, one out Oscar Azokar is the batter three and one to Azokar and he walks oh. 
Jerry Willard is now the batter. There's one out, two runners on. A double play ball would be awesome. 2 0. Oh. Uh, there was an error on the play. So now the bases are loaded, one out, and their pitcher is at bat. Two and two. Oh, he strikes out. Wet luck. Now Steve Sachs is the batter. No count. Cool. All right, so we get out of that inning. Despite the error, we're still up 6 nothing. Bottom of the fourth line with the Shields is now the batter. 1-1 one one to the Shields. Gets it uh, slowly to short, and he's out. Ivan Calderon is next. No count on Calderon. Oh, that's a hit. That's going to be extra bases as well. Oh, is that going to be a triple? I don't know. He's safe. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I had to check the text. All right. Uh, Charles Johnson is next. Run around third. One out. Two and one. And that's a hit. So some more rubies for Charles Johnson with a double here down the line. And we are now up seven nothing. Mark within is next. 2-0, oh. that's it to right center, and Howard is there, catches the ball. Oh, and Johnson gets to third base on the play. So there's two outs now for Brett Barbary, runner on third, three and one, and Barbary walks. Bill Doran is next, runners on first and third, two outs, two and one. Right, that's good that's good not good that the inning ended but it's good that we got another run so it's seven nothing tony fernandez is now the batter rick Mahler is still my pitcher sadly full count oh, it's right at calderon and left that's that's an out tony gwynn is the next batter two and oh to tony gwynn That's a hit. That's also a double. Now Alex Rodriguez is going to be the next batter. Runner on second, one out, one and two to A-Rod. Oh, he strikes out. Rick Mahler here striking out uh, A-Rod. I think that's the second time he struck him out too. All right. Now Velasquez is the batter, one and two to Velasquez. Grounds it to first, and that's another out. All right, so Mahler, I mean, I know I poke a lot of fun at him, but uh, hey, still hasn't allowed a single run. So Ray Sanchez is our next batter here. Pedro Martinez is still the pitcher for the Padres. One and one to Ray Sanchez. It's it not deep enough to right, and Tony Gwynn has it pretty easy. One out. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep Mahler. Sure, why not? Oh, and one. And that's a grounder to first, and he's out. Marquise Grissom, the next batter, one and one. Oh, that's a good hit. Might even be a triple. Triple for Grissom, so the Shields comes to bat. Two outs, runner on third. No count, and oh, that's a that's a very weak hit to center, but it is a hit nonetheless. So we uh, we score another run. We're up eight nothing. Calderon the batter, runner on first. Two outs, two and two. Oh, that's another good hit. All right, so the Shields should score on that. Calderon might get another triple. 
No, he stops at second. Alright, so we are up 9 nothing now. And Charles Johnson, the next batter, 2-2 two and two to Charles Johnson. And he's out. That was an easy pop flight for his Google Earth again. We're going to see if Rick Motter can uh, pitch that inning, and then that's going to be mission accomplished for him. 3 0, so that's probably going to be a lot. Yes, it is. So Thomas Howard walks to start the sixth here for the Padres. Runner on first, nobody out for Oscar Azokar. No count. He hits it to left, but right at Calderon, one out. All right, Willard is next. Runner on first, one out, 0-1. Oh there you go. Right, and now Dan Masteller is going to be the next batter. 0-1. Oh Alright, so stolen base for Thomas Howard. Full count on Masteller. And he strikes out. Wow, so Rick Motter pitched pretty well, actually. I'm not going to bank on it to happen very often again, but I will take it. All right, so bottom of the sixth, uh, Steve Klein in real life played for the Expos. All right, Mark Whitten, the batter, two and two. And that's it, weekly to left, and he is out more than likely. Red Barbary is next, one and one. And he grounds it to second, and he is out. Then Bill Doran is next, one and two. That's a weak fly ball to center. So we go down one, two, three, I think, for the first time of the game. Could be wrong. send John Doris the reason I am sending Doris even if he's tired is because he's I'm not gonna do a double switch right now so let's see if he can give me uh, some good pitches again all right so Steve Sack uh, how many infield singles has Steve Sacks it in this series <laughs> I think that's like four all right, so Tony Fernandez is next. Steve Sachs is at first. Nobody out. And Steve Sachs, Steve Sachs steals. Wow, that's tough for me to say. All right, two and two to Tony Fernandez. Grounds it to no. That's an infield hit again. All right. Runners on first and third. Nobody out. Tony Gwynn is the batter. 1-0. and oh. And Fernandez steals the... Steals second. Wow, Johnson has not had a very good game as far as trying to throw runners out. He's not even trying. Full count to Tony Gwynn, and that's a single to center. Alright, so it's 9-1 to one now, with runners on first and third, nobody out. Alex Rodriguez is now the batter, 1-2. and two. And that's it, I'm going to need to take John Doris out. Yeah, two-run score here, I don't want it to get further out of on. if I can get a few good pitchers from Eat Ains. Nobody out, runner on second. Guillermo Velasquez is now the batter, two and two. All right, that's better. All right, 
strike one out runner on third Thomas Howard is the batter one and two and he strikes out good job now Oscar Azokar is the batter no count and he grounds it to second there you go All right, Ray Sanchez is going to lead us off here in the bottom of the seventh, three and zero, and he walks. Now we're gonna bring Ruben Rivera as the pinch hitter. Three and one to Rivera, and he hits it to center. He should be out. Yo, ho, ho, Thomas Howard with the sliding catch. One out. Marquis Grissom is the next batter. 0-1-1 to Grissom. And he is out. Now the Shields comes to play two outs. So I'm gonna go ahead and let River keep Rivera in the game. I'm gonna send Andorf to pitch. And hopefully he can pitch two innings because I have some tired relievers. All right, Jerry Willard is gonna be the first batter here. Oops. There you go. One and two to Willard. And he strikes out. One out. Joe Biasucci is the batter now. Two and one to Biasucci. It weekly to second. The Shields gets the ball and he's out. Now Steve Sachs is the batter. Two and one to Steve Sachs. Is that going to be another infield single? It sure is. Oh my god. Steve Sachs with a million infield it's during this series tony fernandez is the next batter steve sex is at first there's two outs full count on tony fernandez and he walks yet again and tony gwynn is not a batter grounds it to second and he's out all right so the Padres get two runners on, but they cannot capitalize, so we are still up six runs here in the bottom of the eight. Calderon is going to be the batter. The Padres are going to turn to Scott Terry. Full count to Calderon. Oh, Scott Terry has a seven ERA, so that's not good. All right, so a walk for Calderon. Now Charles Johnson is going to be the batter. One and one. It's, oh, is that another long ball for Charles Johnson? It sure is. Three home runs in two games for Charles Johnson. We are up 11 to 3 now. Right, Mark Withen is the next batter. And he hits it pretty high, but not deep. And Tony Gwynn gets it. One out. Now, Brett Barbary is the next batter. Three and one to Barbary, and he walks. Now Bill Doran is the batter. Two and one to Doran. Yikes! All right, and since it's pretty much a blowout, let's go ahead and bring. Um, which one is the best at shortstop? 37, I think it's Ainey. Yep. I'm gonna bring Todd Ainey as a pinch hitter here. One and one to Ainey, and he hits it. Oh god, is that a home run? It is Todd Ainey with the home run. And it is a 13 to 3 for the Expos. Ruben Rivera comes up next. Jose Melendez is now the pitcher. Two and two to Ruben Rivera. It's a two center. Should be the third out of the inning. And it is. And we are up 13 to three. All right, we're going to keep Todd Aini in the game as the shortstop. 
No, Robert Undorf is going to be a stellar pitcher, and uh, A-Rod is the first batter in the ninth inning. The Padres need pretty much a miracle at this point. All right, well, it starts like that sometimes with a base hit. So infield hit for Alex Rodriguez, runner on first. Nobody out. Guillermo Velasquez is now the batter 1-0 and oh to him, and that's another hit. Oh, I cannot see what's going on. All right, so runners on second and third. Nobody out. Thomas Howard is the batter. Full count. Infield it. All right, I don't like that. Right, Oscar Azokar. Yeah, Andorf is starting to be tired. Guess I'm gonna try to go to Kerrigan. Three games in a row for Kerrigan. You're you're a warrior. You're a trooper, buddy. That's so Eric Pappas is not a batter. Full count. Alright. So fielder's choice. The run scores. So we have runners on first and third with one out. Kevin Seitzer is not a batter. No count. That's a hit. is now 13 to 5 John Roberts is not a batter 0 and 2 and he strikes out and now Steve Sachs is the batter two outs 0 and 2 rounds it to second there you go all right so we won this one 13 to 5 that was one heck of a game So Rick Motter gets the win after Jim Day was hurt. So we'll see uh, how long Day is going to be out for. Out for four weeks. So we're probably going to get somebody to be called up. Kevin Tapani with Minnesota got a shutout against the Blue Jays. And Mel All it for the cycle with the Brewers. Cool. Right, so let's see who gets called up here. Right, so we get James Wynn, which I've looked at him. He's never played in the majors. Yeah, that's going to be tough. It is what it is. We're going to need to make do. Oh, God, he has no control. So he's going to give up a lot of walks. The rest is okay, but he's going to give up a lot of runs. And he doesn't have a lot of stamina either. All right. All right, so Chad Curtis is the player of the week in the American League. Uh, Jeremy Burnett is the player of the week in the National League. Right, and where are we? We should have climbed up. We just won like four games in a row. Yeah, we're right in the middle there at 13th in the power rankings. All right. So, yeah. So, we lost Jim Day to injury. And now we have James Wynn that's going to take his spot in the lineup. Not going to expect too much from him. Oh, dear God, he has not been good in Triple E. Uh, bring me some pitching trade for Tom Glavin or something Greg Maddox somebody all right so uh, yeah I think we're gonna go ahead and stop here for today I, I'm almost out of voice to be honest so I'm gonna go ahead and save the game so next time out we're gonna have a three game series against the Dodgers uh, but not today all right so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here so as usual I do want to thank you for tuning in if you've liked the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.